Hey y'all, it's Brandy. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about some Amazon themes. Um, so for those of you who do not know, I'm 33. I'm a six-figure seller and I did that in five months on Amazon. I am a content creator, an author, and a mother to a four-year-old. And I love all things health and wellness. So I discuss all these things on this channel and you can join my free VIP school group, which isn't going to be free forever. The link is in the description and we have weekly meetings. We post, we we're creating a community of like-minded people who are trying to create this healthy boss lifestyle that love the Lord and trying to raise these natural babies. Okay. So today I'm going to talk to you about some tips I have for starting retail arbitrage. So if you don't know, retail arbitrage is something you do in Amazon. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all to like this channel. I mean, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop me a one to say hello, and share the video. Okay? But anyways, like I was saying... We're talking about retail arbitrage. Retail arbitrage means you're going into the store, you're finding products for cheaper, and then you're reselling them on Amazon Marketplace as an Amazon seller. Okay? Retail arbitrage. So retail arbitrage is why I think I was able to learn how to read the data a lot faster. Um, your money flips a lot faster. <laughs> If you are sending in your own products to Amazon or if you are going to FBM, meaning you are going to send the products yourself via mail when an order comes in. Okay, so how do you do this? Well, I use the Seller Edge app. I know a lot of people use the uh, Amazon Seller app. I mean, I use it if it doesn't come up on the Seller Amp. So Seller Amp, you can scan the barcode. And it'll pull up the item, or you can type in the title, the name of the item you're looking for, and it will pull it up. And then your Amazon seller app is, you can scan the picture, or you can scan the barcode. I never scan the barcode in Amazon seller. Like, I don't know why, but I just don't. So you can look up using, you can scan the image, and then it'll come up. So... When you are starting off with retail arbitrage, it is important to know that it's probably going to start slow, meaning you're not going to just go in and find all these products to resell. Like, so let's have realistic expectations. And then that's tip number one is just have realistic expectations about what you're going to find and how fast you're going to find stuff. You may get lucky and find something right away, but more than likely you're not. And just know that it can be a little overwhelming when you go into the store, especially for the first few times. Um, I recommend starting with just one store and learning it. Don't be doing all these whole bunch of stores because I feel like you'll be not wasting your time, but it's going to take you longer to learn it. I mean, once you got one store down packed, then expand your horizon. Okay, and then the other tip is when you go into the store, start in one section and start in a section that you're more familiar with things. Um, a lot of people, and you're gated in a lot of things. So if you're, I always recommend to people to get ungated in food, or grocery and gourmet. And then you can also get ungated in beauty. The only thing about getting ungated in beauty is that, there tends to be more IPs filed for beauty, I feel like. So, and your account is brand new, so it can't take the hit of like a whole bunch of IPs at first. Not that you even want to get IPs ever, but I'm just saying, like, just think about that. So I always recommend to get ungated in food and then find you a store to go scan in food and then learn those aisles. Like you could go to your local grocery store and just start on one aisle and just scan everything. Like, let's be realistic. Like, don't be in there scanning bread because more than likely no one's buying bread on Amazon. And if you sent that into Amazon, it's probably going to get squished. And if you send it in the mail, it's going to get squished. I would stay away from 
glass things um and like squishy stuff and then amazon has its rules too so go through and read i know like if you do send in glass it, it can't have but so much uh, of liquid in it not like not like a thick but like liquidy liquid um and also if you send in glass it has to be uh wrapped up good enough to where they could drop it from two flights of uh, two stories high and it won't crack so that's just things to keep in mind but a lot of things that sell good in the food is like specialty foods like international foods and um specialty things like fruits like dates or fit dried figs or holiday candy like that kind of thing but anyway the moral of the story is to go pick a store pick a section and master that section because then, then you'll have your regular items that you'll be going to replenish and you just know where to go and then you can add more and more sections that you go into as you do it more and more and more and then you'll get faster and faster and faster and then you'll get better idea of like what to scan what not to scan or like what's worth your time to scan should I say so so that is I don't even know if that's two or three tips but those are another tip. And then my other tip is to join a community. And so if you're going to be focusing on RA, then you need to join a community that is focused on RA, retail arbitrage, because then they're going to give you keys. Like you can even join groups that give leads and stuff like that. So then it'll help you even learn better. Like, okay, scan for these brands, scan for that brand, don't scan for this, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, that's what really helped me is when I joined um, a bolo group. Be on the lookout. And also, I if you're going to join a bolo group, I would get ungated in more categories. I know people say don't focus on getting ungated, but honestly, it's worth it. I think it's worth it to get ungated in the beginning. Even if I don't, even if they do auto engage you in like three to six months, they're not going to auto engage you in major brands. So if you ever want to sell Nike or Adidas or Crocs or anything like that, Amazon's not going to auto ungate you in it. You're going to have to get an invoice and prove it. So if that can help you to start making money faster, then why not? And you may or may not find a profitable product to get yourself ungated with. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Like donate it and get a donation receipt and it's a deduction for your business. But... Yeah, so those are my tips. Join a Bolo group. Pick one store and focus on that store. Pick one section in that store and focus on that section and scan everything on every aisle. And have realistic expectations about how soon you're going to find things. Like, obviously, if you join a Bolo group, you're going to find things a lot faster. I would recommend joining a Bolo group if I was you. That's what I did. Helped me a lot. I'm very happy with that decision. Um, and I also have a lead list for doing online arbitrage. I don't have uh, us VAs right yet, but I will here in the near future. But if you don't have the money to get a VA yet, then lead lists are a great alternative while you are learning how to find products yourself via online arbitrage or just learn how to read the data and doing the retail arbitrage is going to help you learn how to read the data faster or know what you're looking not know what you're looking at but like if how you're reading the data is good or not good because if it is good then the stuff you're finding and the stuff you're choosing to buy is going to sell and it's going to sell pretty fast if it's not selling, then that means you need to go back to learning how to read the data better. But yeah, don't be afraid to retail arbitrage. Don't be afraid to mix it up, but stay focused, stay realistic, and get you some support. Um, You can also, if you want to learn how to sell on Amazon, I can connect you with my mentor who helped me which is why I was able to scale to six figures in five months time. Um, but you have to join my school group and DM me Amazon and I will connect you because he works by referrals. So 
Yeah. Um, if y'all have any tips for anybody else, drop them in the comments, like, share this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions, so feel free to ask. And thank you for coming to listen to me on today's talk about retail arbitrage. So don't be scared of it. Just get out there and do it. And oh, one more thing I'll mention is if it's become something that you're going to do, then like have a rotation set up. I mean, like have a schedule like on Tuesdays I go like it's better to go to these stores in the, during the week and on the weekend. I understand some people work so they can't go on the weekend but I mean can't go during the week but just keep that in mind and then like make friends with the managers at the store so they can tell you like hey we're having a sale coming up or hey we're getting a truck in on x y and z that kind of thing all right that's all I have for you today thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it bye